All right, we got the new box up. They're gonna bring power out of here and put an outlet right down there for me to be able to use. Then I gotta put a PVC pipe down through here, down into the ground where all the internet wire is gonna come in. This is the first trench that I've been working on for, for about 45 minutes, all the way down here. Come up behind this stub up. I'm gonna put a box on the back of it and continue right on through here. Put a box on all of them like that. Come up and put the router in it. Found some gravel down in here. I had to go dig a little deeper and wider well, actually wider to uh, get all that out of there and, and somewhere around in here I got rock as well so I got to dig a little bit more but I got to get down like 12 inches and then that will come up to here then I got to go from here all the way to the last one down there one two three and four that way and I got to come from here and dig a drench right along right where they put the power they said they're down like 24 inches so I can dig in this so it'll be nice and soft and then when I get here I can come over step up here and continue going this way where they already dug to make it nice and soft and easy to dig instead of digging in this and come over here and put another one up here and continue to go and get one all the way on the back of this one and I'm going to take advantage of where they dug their drainage and their electrical which is 24 inches down and I'm not going no more than 12 at the max so pretty much a shovel depth going all the way across here and then I got an odd one that I got to run that is over here and I'm debating if I want to go tap off of that trench and come here or probably will because going straight here I have to go underneath the RV and I'm not doing that so I will branch off of this one got the car over there running keep it getting it cool by the time I get in and go get lunch and come back about two or three hours when it gets cooler because these gnats I can stand the heat. I mean, I've been in heat in, in attics, you know, 100 some degrees and no wind, no nothing. I can deal with that. But these gnats, just brutal. But yeah, I'm going to come out here, go right across here, where it's nice and soft, and actually grab this one. And I think that would be it. But yeah, I'm gonna get me uh, something to eat, probably Subway. It's not much out here, we're out in the middle of nowhere. But this is, uh, if you've never seen it before, only on the map. This is Lake Waccamaw, North Carolina. And this is the lake. And it's roughly about three, three and a half miles, maybe four wide. Remember, it's, uh, it's like, from this direction this direction it's like a mile longer than it is from side to side but uh get out here and put my feet in the water but man these gnats it's just what's brutal out here today but i'm gonna go get me something to eat come back a few hours after it kind of cools off maybe the gnats will be gone a little bit and it's sand gnats and me digging up dirt is not helping so i'm gonna let it kind of settle down with the heat and the gnats and then i'm gonna come back and hmm, deal with them again because it's got to be done it's going to take me a, a few days probably a week to actually get all this done so uh it's gonna be 
many videos of doing this. All right, we got the first trench dug at least 95 100 percent somewhere between there still got a little places here and there that's got to be taken out to get it as low as possible but we got the wire laid in there got a few roots that we had to cut out but we got the trench up to here we got all this buried already to this uh access point here still gonna put a uh, dig around it and put a piece of a uh, PVC pipe two or three inches down in the ground and up to the box so when they weed eat they will not cut the wire because if I leave it like that I guarantee they're going to cut it they always do now I just got to get this all buried oh uh, I got to run another wire I got to probably bury it up to about here Take this wire and pull it up where it's going to be a little past the box and then run another piece to this stack head here haven't put a box on it yet but got to run one there then i'll bury it all the way back to bury it all the way back to this point so i can dig that way and then I got to drop out three wires that way got it some digging I don't know if I'm gonna even start that today I'm I probably go ahead and get this one done and wait for it to cool off after four o'clock at least and then start working on it again because this is the hottest part of the day right now so if I can see the clock on the phone nope but it's uh but it's around one o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this wire up and cut it these gnats man i can't stand these freaking gnats it's the only bad part about this whole thing is these gnats every time you stand still they're all buzzing in your face going in your eyes and your ears just aggravating as you know what as soon as you stand still that's when they bother you that's why I'm walking around because it's just aggravating but I'm going to go ahead and cut this wire get it up where it needs to be pull out another one probably put a box right there and go ahead and get that one on there and then take a break It's a slow process, but I know it'd be done right when I get done. Well, as you can see, the temperature up here, and you see the time. It's uh, let's see here. See, it's 94 degrees, and it's 2:44. Now that I sit in the car. And actually the sun wants to go behind the clouds. That's okay. I have a feeling it'll come back because it's not many clouds above me as you can see. It just a hit and miss. I wish them clouds would come over here. And start giving me shade. I wish some wind would start blowing. It's out there on the flat. But all these RVs up here blocking all the wind. But I'm going to sit here for a little bit, get back out and try to at least get that one trench all the way done with the wires. And probably take an hour or two break since it's going to be the hottest part of the day. And try to get that branch that goes off the side of that trench. And go down that way and go ahead and hit all them 
I don't have enough boxes for them, but at least I can stub up the wire and wait for the boxes to come in and come back and get them up and then dig the trench the other direction. I'm hoping to have this up and running possibly by the end of the week and have the three clients that I have already switched over to the network. At least that's what I'm aiming for. But right now I'm gonna cool off. The heat I can deal with, drinking water all day and I can deal with that, but these gnats, it's just... Even the owner and the people in the RV park saying it's never been this bad out here with gnats since they've been here and it's been four or five years since the owner has brought this RV park he said he's never had it this bad out here for whatever reason but it's something I have to deal with and just take breaks fill up on water and just keep on going all right we got this trench started Got it smoothed out all the way up to here. Then all I've got to do is smooth out this section here, dig a little bit more and get to this stub up, and then continue, go around that plumbing, continue right on through here to the left side of this plumbing. And then get right here, kind of make it come over here and go back so I can bring the wire in bring the wire in here and come up on this one and next wire will continue to go right on down here and as it gets here it's going to curve right around to get here on this box to get this box on this pole and them clouds I was hoping coming this way well they have it's been cloudy for the last 15 20 minutes of me digging this trench gnats are still here seems like they're more over there where there's a lot of sand over here there seems to be not as bad at least since I've been digging in this area and also it started raining a little bit and I'm like please pour down rain I got everything out of my pocket so if I get drenched that's fine and also if it rains it'll kind of quieten down the gnats with this in the sand of getting it wet if I have to go sit in the office and dry off by working in the rain that's fine by me because I know rain from my experience working in the sand rain dries you know put, gets the uh, dry sand all nice and wet and, and the gnats kind of disappear so that's just going to be a positive if it actually rains more but we actually got rain we got clouds we got thunder it's kind of dark back that way as you can see and that's what's coming this direction hopefully that comes this way and these gnats man I tell you Woo. get out here it's I'll get back over there and dig them where it seems like they're not that bad and see how far I can get. I want to get all the way to the last one. I got where I'm at now, stub up, and two more stub ups. Get them to get the wires ran and get this whole side done. Get all them, get all these, and get this wire from here all the way here, buried and covered, and all the wire here, buried and covered. That way this side is done then all I got to do is come back and dig around this way and get this one that one that one that one we got four right here it's a short distance about the same as the first one I did straight so I go this way then I got to turn here and hit this oddball sitting in the middle maybe I'll come back uh, probably let's see this is Monday got uh, something I got to do Tuesday that's going to 
right in the middle of the day. It's going to prevent me from coming up here Wednesday, possibly. I got to take somebody to appointment 6.30 in the morning and possibly come up here after that. I don't know. It's got to be done. Depends on what the weather is. I might come up here in the afternoon, leave maybe 3 o'clock and get up here about 4.30, 5 o'clock and start on that section over there. And I told him if he can get me some power out of this box here which he's got plenty of spaces in there to do and put me a plug underneath my box sometime this week I'm not rushing as long as I get it sometime this week but I'm gonna get back to just digging and killing more gnats all right we got that branch that way, still got to put PVC pipe stalk on it. Got to go get some and come back and do that. But we got the first wire ran in. All the way to the last stub up. Got it from here to all the way to the last stub up. We got the buried. Got it looped up here. Until we get a box to put it on it. But now we got to take this wire and take it all the way to the control box. Get the right length, cut it off, run another one, and feed there, bury it all the way to here, and then cut another one and run it for this last one. But we're just waiting for the electrician. To give me an outlet as soon as he gets that done I can get in there and cut my wire and get this side completely done all right we got this side oh we got this side actually uh, buried but I noticed when I started finishing here and try to pull a wire that I had stuck up in here I noticed that when he put this box on it was pinched right behind that right there that little ear I put a screwdriver in there and pried it and got it out nice and easy instead of yanking on it hopefully it didn't damage it because if the wire comes up from here and gets pinched here I'm going to have to put, probably if it's messed up, put a grounding block right here and run the wire, put an end on it, put it in there, and put another end on another piece of wire and bring it in, in here. But that kind of beats the purpose because all of them from the ground down here will be going up into a PVC pipe to come up into this box. So I'll probably put the ground block down here so I have to bring this wire up to here back down up into the PVC pipe with the other ones to get it in to the box if it's damaged but that's what I'm going to do is check that one because I can tell which one it was because it's got a little nick on it like I don't know exactly where it's at but I can find it and I want to put an end on it on this end and I do believe since it was actually the only one up there and I do believe that was the first one I ran which would be down here D 10 10 D whatever it is over here I think it would be this one yeah D 10 so that's the one I'll check that happened to be one of the longest runs I got if it's messed up there I'm glad they make ground blocks so I can actually fix it without actually have to rerun it. Hate putting jumpers in it, but it is what it is. But this is all buried. Come back and put some PVC pipe in there, put a box. I got to order some more boxes. The one that I ordered it from on Amazon wouldn't let me buy but so many. Maybe it's they didn't have enough more. They didn't have as many as I wanted. I don't know. 
but it's all buried and they're finally burying that cable if you look in my previous videos you find where they had to lay that cable down and you see how long it's been since uh, they had that cable been laying out there almost a month if not a month but we got this one all buried got to put a box on there I put up five boxes so I need uh, 11 more Ah, gnats don't taste good either so we have let's be sure I have one there I need two three four five six seven seven in here I need seven more to finish this out and I think he's got the 16 is counting as these over here I got to do the same thing it would be another network pretty much the same setup he said he's got 16 sites that it's a uh, long term so he's counting these as well so I'll be putting a box up on this one I just might put it on the back side I don't know because uh, not really much room to put it up here if he'll let me put it on the back be out of the way I'll put it right there right up in here and now all I got to do is dig a trench one way yeah one way so we have how many this way we have one two ooh, three four five See, if that's the case, that should be D5 down here. There's D4. D5, yep. That's, so that's five in there I have to do. Another net, network set up. So he's had, he said he's got 16. I think he's actually got 17 that's permanent because I think 17 is actually in here. See, where would that be? Is that the odd one? Uh, Ryan, that's actually 17, I think. And that's D16. There's D17 right there. So he's got actually 17 permanent ones that I'm going to have to. So I'll grab another, another half dozen because he's got these over here as a short-term rental the ones all across here which are I think it's a different letter I don't think but one two three maybe four they're uh, actually they're not even numbered from C numbers on oh I do now D11 so I'll just get all these in here and uh, then start on that network on the other side over there. But right now, that's it for today. And I just hope and pray that that wire is not damaged. But if it is, I do believe I got one of them ground blocks to put on there. But it never rained anymore. It sprinkled a little bit. But it's been it started getting cloudy about three and it stayed that way and it's still that way now so i'm going to get in and go up there in the convenience store get me a big drink put on cruise head home it's been a long hot sweaty nasty with the gnats
but we got it done. I'm going home.